So you want me to revisit the idea of Mark of the Beast? I do. Mark of the Beast uh, was an interesting um, remote viewing topic. Uh, all of the topics in Revelation and in and, and the Bible and in, the, uh, in, in many of the older, um, not necessarily apoc- apoc- apocalyptic texts, but the, the prophets of old, the true prophets, who didn't volunteer to be prophets, you know, they were called upon mm-hmm. to be prophets. And they wrote what they were given. And this idea of the mark of the beast, we remote viewed that uh, years ago. And actually, I, I spent a lot of time on it myself. And I stand by what, what the results are. Anybody who's trained in even some of, of uh, the intermediate uh, remote viewing skills, that we teach can be taught to discern the same uh, date, the same results. And that is uh, an AIDS vaccine. The mark of the beast turns out to be an AIDS vaccine. Somebody 2,500 years ago was looking 2,500 years in the future, and that particular idea is what they, they the only, in the wor- and the only way that they conceptualize it 2,500 years ago was to call it the mark of the beast. Huh. Well, uh, but 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 I I guess I I don't understand uh, if it's an AIDS vaccine. Why would it uh, even conceptually be thought of as the mark of the beast? An AIDS vaccine would be uh, a good thing, right? I don't want to get into it because it's it is such a controversial thing. Are it deals? With... Are you saying it's going to be an AIDS vaccine gone wrong? Is that where you're going? Uh, that I can talk about. I can't talk about what what's behind the idea of the mark of the beast. Uh, not, uh, not on the air. It's too controversial. But yes, the the eight, what happens is that the people who accept the mark of the beast to break out in woesome sores. That's what the, that's what Revelation says. They break out woes. Woe be the mother who who gives suck to her child if she takes the mark of the beast because the child will die. Essentially, it's an AIDS vaccine that is not proven. And it is, and it does result in causing injury to people that take it. Uh, wow. Okay. And I'm afraid that we are heading toward uh, a, poss- a real possibility uh, of, of nations forcing this, uh, not forcing it in terms of holding you down and shooting you up with it, but if you do not have a mark on your ID card or your driver's license, saying that you've had this inoculation, you're not going to be able to get a job or you're not going to be able to go to certain places or get a passport. So it would almost be like the opposite of the scarlet letter. In other words, you'd have to have this mark or... Oh, my. That's a good analogy. Yes. Yes. Uh Or you'd be be ostracized, excommunicated. You won't be able to conduct commerce of any type. You won't be able to get a job in a big corporation. You definitely won't be able to date Unless you date someone who uh, who is not (laughs) who doesn't have that mark, one of the unmarked, right? Yes. So you the vaccine it goes wrong, and that's what that's what the the prophets of old were saying is that many people are forced to accept the mark of the beast, but woe be them and those people that do that because they break out and woe some sores. The vaccine goes wrong. It's not it's not proven. Well, vaccines have been known to go wrong, indeed, and they keep, uh, you know, we keep getting news blurbs and flashes about uh, about a possible AIDS vaccine, and the story is big for a day or two, and then it goes away and you never hear about it again. Uh, I, I, I bet I've heard 50 of those, uh, Ed, since we've been aware of AIDS. You know, we, we've got one, or we've just about got one, and the story always goes away. Well, the, the pandemic is so huge that it's, uh, very attractive in a number of different ways to um, to come up with uh, to, to to research a vaccine, and you can imagine how much money is involved for those companies that of course say they have an effective vaccine. Gun tech, uh, we've, had, we've heard them all, but uh, and Moderna, and some people say Moderna. I don't really know why. Modern, modern, Moderna RNA surging this year. That's creating enormous wealth for the people behind some of the world's top COVID vaccine candidates. Oh, of course.
course. Um, I don't know how you would prove that until a decade or more has gone by, knowing, you know, how AIDS works. But, yeah, it would be, uh, it would be big money, all right. And uh, one can imagine something going wrong. No question.